I'm Lara Satrakin, and you've got a foreign correspondent in the Middle East. I'm doing my dream job. It's very simple. I get to learn about new places, new people. Um, I want to help the world make sense. I think being a woman journalist in the Middle East has some advantages. You can tell women's stories better because in countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran, men don't have access to women the same way. So coming at it as an American woman, I can connect with them and tell their stories. You can't just lump together the Muslim world in one big bubble and be scared. You have to engage so, so as to better protect yourself, but also just to understand what it's all about now. The two biggest stories I've covered were the Egypt Revolution. It was a game changer for the entire Arab world. It made everything else possible. The Mubarak regime was a steel wall. Nobody thought it could come down, much less in 18 days of protests. The other biggest story was Iran's election in 2009. People trying to change the regime, people angry that they felt that their vote was stolen. We hadn't seen anything like it in close to 30 years of Iran's existence as an Islamic Republic. The biggest misconception is that Arabs aren't like us. They're playing Farmville. They're shopping online. They're even watching Jersey Shore. They're doing a lot of the things we're doing at the same time. If we care to connect, it's going to be very easy to find common ground. 